In my last three videos, I talked about Nikola Tesla's radiant energy, how to produce it, what kinds of effects we could expect. And of course, I went experimenting with this together with my bifilar coils. And I've got some strange results and I want to share them with you, of course. So I hope you enjoy. I've been experimenting with the bifilar coil for a while now and mostly I was uh, investigating resonance. So I'm quite familiar with it and how it acts. And normally what I do is I make a stack of coils like this one and I pulse the bottom coil, produces a magnetic field that induces resonance in the center coil and the outside, the top coil. Well. This time, I didn't tune the center uh, coil to resonate at a low frequency. I just left it like it was, without a parallel capacitor tuning it. And this way, uh, I tried to produce a series resonance in L2, but it didn't go ex as expected. I suddenly got the disruptive discharge in L2 and I saw it was able to produce resonance in L3 and it produces increased resonant voltage in L3. And that of course is uh, very interesting. It's really interesting at, at which time this discharge happens. It is right before the MOSFET is being turned on. The MOSFET is uh, giving positive voltage to L1, creating a magnetic field and then the MOSFET turns off and the magnetic field collapses and the energy stored in the magnetic field of L1 is uh, producing a inductive spike that has negative voltage due to the high side switch. And this negative voltage, this, this inductive spike happens when the MOSFET is turned off. Then there is no magnetic field energy anymore in, in L1 and um, L2 could become resonant and L3 is becoming resonant because L3 is tuned to this pulsing frequency. But why is there a disruptive discharge right before the pulse turns on again? at the maximum negative voltage of the resonant L3. I also tried removing L3 to see what happens and there's no disruptive discharge. You can see a little bump, but there is no spike, no large voltage difference. These are my uh, bifilar pancake coils. It's a stack of three coils on top of each other and each coil is similar with uh, each coil having 0.7 ohms resistance and 0.31 millihenries of inductance. Uh, these are inductive coupled, but these coils are also capacitive coupled. The bottom coil is L1, the center coil is L2 and the top coil is L3. And I'll show you the circuit. L1 is uh, being used as a boost converter, producing negative voltage. And this negative voltage is used in L2, the center coil, to be disruptive discharged into the center coil. And the L3 coil is the output coil that is getting resonant, but also is getting uh, dielectrically induced by the disruptive discharges of L2. So L2 is the coil producing the radiant energy effects into L3. Here you see the schematic. The inductive spike travels via diode 1 to C1 and L2. If you think you know the answer, why is this happening right at that moment in time? Uh, please share it uh, because it's vital information. 